Hi. Welcome to partial loss of pre-stressed concrete slab using ETABs. In ETABs, the detailed calculations for tendon loss require short-term loss parameters and long-term loss parameters. This video will explain how to obtain these parameters. The background theory of calculation for partial loss of pre-stress in this video is based on the following reference. Pre-stressed concrete, a fundamental approach, by Edward G. Nui. Concrete structure, stress, and deformation. By A. Ghali. R. Fav and M. L. Dabar Reinforced concrete, mechanics and design by James K. White. Model code for concrete structure 2010 by FIB, CEBFIP. And ACI 31819, building code requirement for structural concrete. Partial loss of pre-stress consists of elastic shortening loss, creep loss, shrinkage loss, friction loss, anchorage seating loss and steel stress relaxation. The mechanical property of the strand is as shown here. Time-dependent behavior such as creep and shrinkage are not independent. Stress in the concrete changes over time. Creep behavior itself depends on the state of stress, and creep behavior changes whenever the state of stress changes. Steel stress relaxation also depends on the state of stress, hence, changes the stress in concrete further, and so on and so forth. Such nonlinear behavior could be analyzed using the stage of construction analysis with full integration of creep function. In practice, the simplified loss calculation using the superposition assumption as shown here is considered acceptable. Therefore, elastic shortening, creep, shrinkage, friction, anchorage seating, and steel stress relaxation are estimated separately. The calculation for elastic shortening loss can be expressed by the following equation. For the post-tensioned slab, there will be several sequential jacking steps. Therefore, the elastic shortening loss for the post-tension slab is approximately half of the pre-tension case. ACI 31819 specified minimum effective pre-stress after loss of at least 0.7 MPa. The simplified example calculation for elastic shortening loss is shown here. The amount of effective pre-stress could be further refined by obtaining the stress from the finite element analysis results. The effect of tendon profile eccentricity will also be included in the finite element analysis results as well. The concrete creep behavior under constant stress could be expressed with this equation. Under sustained stress, the creep strain increased over time. The nonlinear part of concrete Young's modulus is ignored in practical application. The creep coefficient represents the ratio of creep to the instantaneous strain. Since the real pre-stressed concrete structure will be subjected to the various stage of stress. The concrete creep's behavior under the stress that changes with time could be expressed by the creep superposition equation as shown here. With the assumption that a unit stress increment or decrement induced at the same age and maintained for the same time produce the same absolute value of creep. The creep superposition is useful for the nonlinear stage of construction analysis such as the pre-stressing sequence of balanced cantilever bridges or the long-term column shortening effect in tall buildings. This picture demonstrates creep behavior under stress changes according to the assumption mentioned earlier. The ETABS parameter for creep calculation in this video will refer to the model code for concrete structure 2010 by FIB, CEBFIP. The strength class of cement, relative humidity, and notional size are shown here. The example for creep loss calculation for concrete strength of 35 MPa with 70% relative humidity and 250 mm notional size is shown here. The concrete shrinkage behavior without restraint could be expressed with this equation. This picture demonstrates the shrinkage behavior of unrestrained concrete over time. The total shrinkage is the maximum shrinkage for the unrestrained concrete. The example for shrinkage loss calculation for concrete strength of 35 MPa with 70% relative humidity and 250 mm notional size is shown here. For a building with large columns, the flexural stiffness of the column restrains somewhat the axial shortening of the floor slabs. If the columns are stiff and the slab has a large number of spans, the resulting loss of axial compression in the floor slabs can be significant. The effect of column restraint can be observed from the finite element model. Please note that some software that uses an equivalent frame method to analyze pre-stress concrete framing does not allow the degree of freedom to properly capture the axial deformation of the slab. Hence, the column restraints effect can not be observed in such a model. 
The parameters for friction loss and anchorage seating loss are as shown here. Both concrete and steel under sustained stress can exhibit creep behavior. The effect of creep on pre-stressing steel is commonly called relaxation of pre-stressed steel. The behavior of relaxation of pre-stressed steel over time could be expressed by the following equation. The example calculation for relaxation of pre-stressed steel is shown here. All the short-term loss parameters and long-term loss parameters for the detailed calculations for tendon loss in ETABs are now obtained. This ends this video.